Hello there, welcome to Watson's Daily TV. I'm Peter Watson and I'm here with my take on two major topics in today's business news distilled for you in three minutes. This is a cut down version of my weekday newsletter, Watson's Daily, in which I comment on a number of companies and themes. Can I beat this buzzer? Today, I'm going to talk about uh, Nvidia's purchase of Mellanox and Tesla's U-turn. So, NVIDIA won in its battle with Intel to buy Israeli chip maker Mellanox in order to boost its data center business. The $6.9 billion all cash deal was done at a 14% premium to Friday's closing price and is expected to complete within this year, subject to all the usual regulatory approvals. Mellanox makes cables and switches that transfer data between servers, storage systems and infrastructure equipment, which should fit nicely with NVIDIA's graphics processors. This is the biggest ever deal done by a US semiconductor company and should give it a major boost in what many will see as being a growing business area, given that increasing AI adoption will necessitate higher demand for data centers. The other thing I wanted to mention today was Tesla going back on its recent promise to close almost all of its physical sales outlets and push everything online. Funnily enough, there was a huge backlash in the wake of that announcement from the land from, well, not only landlords, but car dealers, lawmakers and customers. So it will keep more outlets open and raise prices of models other than the Model 3 by about 3% to offset the cost of keeping open some of their sales outlets. Other than that, in today's edition of Watson's Daily, I talk about drama in Turkey, Mexico and Venezuela, as well as Microsoft's moved into biological computing and Levi's preparation for market. Anyway, Watson's Daily is intended to give you the essence of the day's commercial news with opinion. You can read the whole thing in anything between one and seven minutes. So please go to watsonsdaily.com to find out more if you're interested. So see you tomorrow and thanks for watching. Watson out.